Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. Uh, in today's video I'm doing something that I've not done in a little while and that is a Forzathon guide. I know I should have continued doing them but I just sort of lost track of myself. But I'm getting back on top of that now. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's Forzathon challenge for autumn. Which is all based around the 1999 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo GSR which is a very cool car. Now obviously you will need to tune this car but I'll get into that uh, in a second. So the first challenge just wants you to hop in it and leave the garage, it's as simple as that and you'll have completed the first one. Now for the remaining challenges I highly recommend tuning it, I have as you can see here created a tune for it um, which is just called Forzathon Easy, uh, you can find it on my storefront, it's Desert01, details are in the description of this video. Uh, so let's crack on to the first challenge here which just wants you to earn a total of 12 stars from speed zones. Now make sure you use speed zones and not speed traps, uh, obviously the speed zone is where it counts your average speed from one point to another. Now there are various speed zones that you can use but the ones I recommend are up here by Glen Rannoch. So there's the Foothills one and then just further down you've got the Straith Bridge. Now obviously the Foothills is probably the easiest one but if you want to continue your run from the Foothills you can keep your speed up and go straight across to the Straith Bridge one or you can just keep going back and forth on the Foothills. So you can do it on the same one over and over, it doesn't have to be on different ones. So obviously if you keep getting 2 or 3 stars it will all add up to your total of 12 stars. So it will be fairly easy and quick for you guys to complete it, it only took me a couple of minutes of running back and forth. Uh, it was not very hard at all, especially with the tune helping me out because that provides more than enough power to get through that. The next one here just wants you to win five dirt racing series events. Now this is obviously any dirt race you want, so it doesn't matter if it's a sprint or a circuit, just as long as it's a dirt race and it wants you to win them. Now again, as with the speed zones, you can just do the same race over and over again. So if you want a really quick race, I recommend the Ambleside Scramble. It will not take you long to do. Um, I've created a blueprint again, uh, which is just one lap because each one lap counts as a race. Obviously do that five laps pretty much, five races easy very simple takes about six seven minutes if that again the tune helps a lot so that's a very quick and easy challenge so altogether the first three would have taken you maybe 10 minutes max now for the fourth challenge it just wants you to get 10 miles racked up driving it uh, so obviously it's not hard but again if you want to do it quickly i recommend just hitting the highway just do it a couple of straights of that <clears throat> and you would have got 10 miles very quick very easy um simple to do and again that won't take you long maybe a couple of minutes to complete that so this is a very very quick and easy forzathon guide it will not take you guys long to do i promise you especially if you are using the tune that i've made for you guys as well um, and also don't forget the competition for uh, three winners of 10 million credits ends today so if you haven't checked that video out and put what you think you would spend your 10 million credits on in the comments uh, the video of the three winners will be announced on this upcoming tuesday which I think is the 29th or the 30th of January, I think it's 29th. Um, so I'll release a video on the evening of that, so don't forget to hit the bell button um, if you are subscribed, and obviously that will pop up on your feed. But last of all, I wanna say a massive thank you for everyone's support. This channel is growing, and I cannot thank you guys enough. It's all because of you, um, and a massive, massive thank you to everyone. I hope you're still enjoying my content, and I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, again, please do say so in the comments. But massive thank you guys and all the best. 